Hi everyone, welcome back to Art Class From Home. My name is Evan Furness, I'm the Visual Arts Educator at the Gallery. And this week, for our activity, we are using Robert Ude's artwork, Visiteur, as our inspiration to explore the different types of lines and shapes that you can use in a drawing. Now this artwork is great for learning about this as it's really made up of only two components, a series of rectangles and a black line drawing. In the demo, I'm going to talk about the two different categories of line and shape and how you can use them to make your artworks more interesting and dynamic. Thanks for tuning in, check out the demo, and I will see you in the studio. Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth installment of Art Class From Home. This week we are tackling an activity that explores the two different types of lines and shapes while taking a look at Robert Ude's work, Visiteur. I'm going to start off by explaining the difference between the two types of shapes, and those two types are organic, and inorganic. The biggest difference between the two is that organic shapes are shapes that you would find in nature. They usually have a lot of curved lines, whereas inorganic, sometimes also called geometric shapes, are ones that are not natural. They're human-made, and they tend to feature a lot of really straight lines, a lot of angles. Think of just the regular primary shapes like squares, circles, triangles. The best way to think about it is if you think, could I find this shape on a walk through the forest or a walk on the beach? If the answer is yes, then it's probably an organic shape. If the answer is no, then it's most likely human-made or a geometric shape. Now, as we are looking at Robert Ude's work, Visiteur, as our inspiration, um, we're going to use the basic composition of that artwork as our basis for the exercise. This work by Eudes is really interesting because it's an artwork that is made up primarily of geometric shapes and one simple line drawing that is made up of organic lines. And we're going to take this model of a geometric shape with an organic drawing inside of it as the basis for this activity. For this activity, you're going to need a piece of paper, at least three colors, and a darker pencil crayon or marker or pen. Whatever you choose doesn't really matter, uh, as long as it has a darker value to it. Now, the first step in this activity is to choose a series of shapes. So I have three colors here, so I'm going to choose three shapes. I'm going to take my red, and I'm going to draw triangle. These shapes should be geometric, which means they should have a lot of straight lines, and they should be shapes that you wouldn't find in nature. Remember, they're geometric or inorganic. I'll stick to using the word geometric just because organic and inorganic are a bit similar when you're listening to someone talk about them. And you can decide to overlap the shapes, or you can keep them separate doesn't really matter. So, we have our three shapes. The next step is to decide what we are going to draw inside of these shapes. Now a good way to decide what you're going to draw is try and think of the colors that you used and think of what they remind you of. Remember these drawings inside of these geometric shapes should be organic. They should have lots of curves to them. They should flow really nicely. So try and think of things that you would find in nature that relate to the colors that you've chosen. Okay, so I've finished my three drawings. I decided in the red section that I would draw a candle on fire. So that has the curved lines of the dripping wax, the curvature of the flame as it's flickering back and forth. In the blue one, we have kind of an ocean seascape. The waves are curved. There's kind of an organic landmass in the background with lots of bumps and irregular ups and downs. Some birds as well. And 
in the yellow one I've drawn a flower with its curved petals, its stem that kind of wiggles back and forth, uh, as well as the leaves here, which have also a kind of curvature to them. So when you put the two side by side, you can really see how different organic and inorganic lines and shapes are. These feel a lot more rigid, they feel more solid, whereas these feel more fluid, they feel like they have a little bit of life to them. And you can use a combination of organic and geometric shapes together. Using them in the right way can make your artworks more interesting to look at and engage with. Hope you enjoyed exploring these types of lines and shapes. And I will see you next week with another activity.